Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to take you through Nexus Protocol, which is on the in the Terra ecosystem. And what this is, is it automatically manages your anchor farming situation. So if, if at the moment, and let me show you what I mean. At the moment, if you are using anchor where you deposit your Luna, you bond your Luna, you borrow against it, and then you deposit that UST into anchor, uh, you, to farm the ANC tokens, you know, you'll usually spend a lot of your time focusing on what the market is doing from a price perspective and ensuring that you aren't too high and in the in the process of uh, a massive price fluctuation, you could get liquidated. So you'd always be monitoring that manually. In comes Nexus where they automate this entire process. So you literally just put your Luna into Nexus and it will automatically manage it, um, your loan and harvest the anchor and farm that for you. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. I want to give you a brief overview from a high level and that's what it's about. And it's basically what I've defaulted to now. I kind of don't use um, anchor manually anymore. I just let Nexus do it for me because using Nexus also gives a few other opportunities that you wouldn't have available to you if you did it manually. So let's dive straight in today what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk you through everything i'm going to show you some of the options that are available to you um, via nexus protocol we'll talk about the psi token psi token however you want to uh, call it uh, one shout out i do want to give is if you want in in-depth detail of how these vaults work i strongly encourage you to um, watch a deku's recent uh, youtube um, clip where he actually is quite genius with his powerpoints and stuff but he breaks down each of the vaults and how it works now i'm not going to take you through that detail i'm just going to literally show you step by step how things work and what it does so first thing as as you would always if you are currently using anchor so if you've got your Luna locked in Anchor and you've borrowed against it and you want to use that same Luna in the Nexus Vault, you need to um, repay your loan. So if you've got it sitting in Anchor, uh, withdraw, pay down your loan and then come into the borrow screen and withdraw your B Luna. So you need to take it out of Anchor first. Once you've done that, you can head over to the Nexus protocol. And as soon as you connect to your wallet, which is over here, my lovely showcase wallet. You can see the dashboard, which gives you the PSI token price. And I'm going to talk about the token, why it's quite cool. But before before we do that, let, let's let's keep going. Um, over here, you can see that they have some vault, vaults there. And remember what I said, the vaults are automated. Uh, so here are two vaults we have, which is the B Lunar and B ETH. Now, in this tutorial, I'll strictly just show you the B Lunar vault. But the vaults work the same way. They're just separate because they're different assets. So the goal here is what happens is when you deposit your B Luna, it's telling you right now, it will automatically deposit that, borrow up to 47% off it and put it in anchor. In the background, this is what's happening. And it will then generate, you know, the farm, the ANC tokens and your 20% that you're earning in anchor. But the difference here is it will pay that out in PSI tokens, which you'll be able to claim here once you've put into the vault. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind when you use the vault, maybe for the first two days, then it may take time for you to see your vault rewards. And this is just an internal process to ensure uh, there's a few mechanics at play over there, but just don't be worried that, oh, you're not getting rewards post two days. Um, you will definitely get your rewards and they'll get paid out in PSI, which will be over here and you can claim it and then sell it into UST or there are other options, which I'll get to as we talk through this. So what you can see over here is I have my B Luna. I've got 50 B Luna. I'm going to deposit in here. So it's in and what you can see is right at the bottom over here straight away it's saying I've got 50 B Luna. 
no rewards obviously it's just happened but as noted what's happened here is it's automatically um, taken that borrowed 47 percent and it will just monitor this so in the background market fluctuations anything that happens it doesn't matter um, what is happening in this vault is the nexus is uh, protocol is getting the price feed for this vault 15 seconds before anchor gets its feed so whatever happens it will automatically readjust your ltv ratio so if there's a sudden crash automatically it will keep adjusting things in the background at, at a smart contract level um, and uh, pay down your loan or pay up to maximize to ensure it's getting this yield now the nexus operates in a few modes and i've got the light paper over here so currently we're operating in optimal mode which is Oh no, sorry, we're operating in safe mode, which is 80% off the max LTV, which is 47. As you know, you can borrow up to 60%, but anything over that you could get liquidated. So uh, just on launch, it's on safe mode, but they're looking to upgrade it to optimal because remember, it's always 15 seconds ahead and it will adjust accordingly if there were any sudden price fluctuations. So enough about that. Here we go. That's it. You're already mining via this. This is the safest way. You don't have to worry about anything. You're done. You've got your BLUN or your uh, mining um, anchor, the ANC token, and it'll get paid out in PSI. Okay, so the, the beauty about using Nexus Protocol is once you've used the vault, B Lunar Vault, as soon as you deposit it, you can see you're getting an APR of around 7.83. This will fluctuate. Um, you can already see at 47% it's dropped the LTV to for 45 just moments ago. So this is the in the background where it's automatically adjusting based on market conditions. Uh, but the real beauty of this is when you deposit your B Luna or B ETH, it's maximizing using the vault. And at the same time, you get like an IOU token, a token representing B Luna in N, in an N asset, which is N Luna or N ETH. And what that is, it's a, it's connected to what you've put in. So let me show you what, what I mean by that. So there is a farming option when you use Nexus. And if you click on farm, you can see over here that there are three assets and they're LP farming. Now, this is a bit different if you're used to, you know, farming when protocols launch, you, you put in liquidity pools and you put uh, UST versus the other token and they usually reward um, the get governance token on top to offset any impermanent loss and things like that. So um, Nexus has kind of tweaked this and created their own system where um, the once you use their vaults, they give you the N assets and then you can pull those N assets with PSI in their liquidity um, providing program that they have, which is very decent. As you can see, some of these APRs are 180% um, and 271%. But a few things you need to understand here um, and some of the risks involved. So what's cool is as soon as you deposit you get your end asset and i'll show you right now if i look at my luna and click on farm you can see i have 50 n luna because i deposited 50 b luna so that's what you need to understand whatever you deposit you'll always have the exact same representation in the n asset now when you go to uh, put your assets into this lp farm whatever you put in here will come out of the vault you you have in the B asset vault. So to give you a good example is if I put 25 N Luna here, 25 N Luna, uh, 25 of my B Luna would disappear in the in the vault itself. So uh, I know first time when I was playing, I thought, oh, I just got a whole, I, I got more uh, Luna that I can just play with and double my yield. But that's not the case. It's more, you have to decide where you want to use it. Um, if you use, uh, put more of your, in Luna into the LP pool, it, it removes it from the vault on the other side. So keep that in mind. And as always, now these LP pools, they are very generous. So you're getting your 200% yield, but you have to pair it with the respective token. So in this case, if I were to take part in the LP pool, I would need the PSI governance token here. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm just quickly do a refresh over here. Now, I have deposited, to cover off, I've deposited 50 Luna, 
and right away I have 50 in Luna. And when you're thinking about liquidity pool, all the same rules apply when you're adding to any liquidity pool. The difference here is with the N Luna PSI pair or N ETH PSI pair, your uh, you know your your exposure is to two volatile assets. So as per impermanent loss works, if ETH price skyrockets versus PSI's price or Luna's price skyrockets versus PSI, you'll notice your Luna, you have less of Luna in that pool and more PSI building up and vice versa. So uh, keep that in mind uh, when you're entering these pools, but uh, certainly they are very um, uh, rewarding in terms of you stack the PSI token quite heavily. Look at these yield rates, 271 and 181 and also 279 on uh, the PSI UST pool. So uh, to enter these pools though, you do need the governance token. And this is the real beauty of Nexus. They've managed to create a system rather than uh, you just dumping their token. There's a lot of buying needed to partake in various, um, in, in their yield farming uh, rewarding strategies uh, or their vaults, their vaults actually, when it's generating, you know, the interest, the ANC and the interest, it is used to purchase PSI off the market. So they, they've created a system of constant buying pressure, which is quite cool. And um, at the same time, you have the ability to, um, uh, you know, provide liquidity and, and still gain more yield farming rewards. So enough uh, waffling on my part. Let's let me just show you. So if I go the N asset, I've got a little bit of PSI in here. So let me just go max. And you can see out of that 50 Luna, because I have this much PSI, um, I can add this into a liquidity pool. However, if I wanted to add 25, I would have to go to uh, the, it just go into the swap function and purchase PSI that to match my Luna that I want to deposit as per LP providing. So let's hit confirm here. Great. And there we go. So now I am now this should start to climb block by block. Give it a moment and it will start climbing. But few things again to remember now I have put in 1.20 N Luna. If I go back to my vault right away, you'll notice I have less Luna in my standard vault because as I called out, it's a one per one relationship. You're not getting a bonus 50 Luna miraculously. It is tied to the B Luna you've already deposited into the vault. It's just made it liquid so you can kind of use it on other places if you want. What's cool about it as well is using Nexus, you know, uh, you have various options in terms of trading. So you can now swap your N Luna straight into PSI um, and then move your PSI into UST if you want to exit Luna or, or ETH if you're taking part in the vault um, that way. So let's come back here. Let me refresh. Let's see, I've put very little, so it's probably not built up yet, but this is this will keep building. And as soon as you have, see, there we go. I've got a little bit and I can claim it. Now, you know how the rest of it works, but these are your two options that are available to you. So again, um, this automates the entire vault. And at the same time, if you want to farm and take, be a bit riskier to get those higher yields, you can then take your N asset and pair it with the PSI and earn extra uh, par PSI as, as a reward, which turns out to be quite lucrative. Like on one of my wallets, I've got, you know, a little bit of my N ETH, paired up with PSI, uh, generating me additional, you know, rewards. And, and so far it's worked out quite well, but I'm constantly monitoring it in case there's a sudden spike on either side, uh, depending on your risk appetite. My risk appetite, I don't mind holding both the assets, so I'm willing to suffer on either side as long as I'm earning a fair bit of PSI. And then I balance my portfolio. If I've earned a fair bit in that day, I will use half of it and rebuy some of the ETH if the price has fluctuated on either side. So you got to be smart about this. But um, I, I felt at the start when I dived in, uh, I got confused and thought I had few extra things to play with, but I wanted to make sure in this tutorial, I tied it together to go how they're correlated and what, what aspect of the vaults does what and how does the farming component work, which I believe I've covered. Now, the only other thing I haven't covered is the staking. So if you wanted to just hold and you didn't want to farm and, you know, you just wanted to hold a PSI token and have no other risk, you would take part in the vault, 
As soon as you claim your rewards, you could go into the governance section and stake it. And uh, this has been climbing every day. So part of the staking process, the rewards, you'll get a bit, you'll get rewarded, whatever the APR says over here. So that is also an option for you. But I'm willing to bet in these early days, you wanting to get that max yield. So um, here's what you have on offer. Again, I hope this has um, cleared up a few things. The great thing about this is, uh, well, I think this is one other call that I need to make. So remember, we've entered that um, farm. OK, so I've got 1.2 and this much PSI in there. So I will need to at some point I want to remove my Luna from the vault. You will need to have the right amount of N Luna to remove that. So at the moment, if I went to withdraw 50, I couldn't withdraw 50 because it would only have 48.79. Remember, they're tied together. So make sure this is very clear. I know I've gone about it in a few different ways, but I'm really hoping it's helpful. OK, that is that. If there's any questions, please add some comments. Um, I, I love this protocol. Uh, I can sleep at night again. I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, in my nine to five job, I can quickly check to see, make sure markets are going. But when I'm away from my computer, I always worry, oh, what if the market tanks and I'm, you know, managing a loan at 40%. Um, now I don't have to worry about any of that. The vault just manages it for me. And I have got a cool option to farm. Uh, take it a step further and also now I can cash out of my bonded Luna or bonded E via PSI which is quite cool as well so once again if you like the video like subscribe share really appreciate um, you taking the time to watch this and if you have any questions put it in the comments below thanks everyone take care